Hey men, do you think you have what it takes to live the life that God planned for you? To walk the walk alongside Jesus Christ? Well, I think you do, and I want to invite you out to an event that's going to be kicking off on Thursday in the morning and in the evening, and it's at Man Church. Yes, I said it. It's Man Church. We are kicking off the second installment of 33, the series. Check it out. Imagine with me for a moment what could be. Imagine a world where men lead in their marriages, where men lead in raising their children, where men lead in protecting those who are weak and oppressed. It is the most important journey you could possibly be on. Is there anything this world needs more than a bold movement of men to step up and be men. When you look across our own lives, we can see that there's a deficit there. And there's a great need for men to rise up and be the men they've been called to be. We're just not going to pull that out of the air. We're going to look at our model and the, and the 33 years that Jesus lived on this earth. Men who don't transition well into middle adulthood, they usually fall to the major danger. You find yourself in between a rock and a hard place. If you let this happen, you'll find yourself in manhood hell. There's a lot that you can give a son, but the greatest gift you can give him is the example of integrity and a great name. That's a legacy. Our eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. So you're not talking complex ethics here, right? Don't touch that tree. That, that's not hard. You see, manhood is imprinted. If you get the young men, you win the war. You get the families, the women, the children, the money, the business. You get everything. Imagine a world where men dominate areas of eternal significance. So join us, and I will see you there.